Mixed morning. During a press conference on Wednesday, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham announced that her public health order keeping non-essential businesses closed will be extended to May 15th. The press conference was called by state officials to unveil a plan to reopen the economy, which included several phases in which steps will be taken to ensure success and safety. As of right now, there will be a preparation phase in which all individuals are instructed to stay home, industry councils will develop COVID-safe practices, and define how businesses will protect employees and customers. In phase one of recovery, vulnerable individuals will be instructed to stay home. Some non-essential businesses will be permitted to reopen in compliance with the safety guides and certain businesses will remain closed. In phase two and beyond, additional businesses will be permitted to reopen in compliance with the CSP. Larger gatherings and events will still be restricted for the foreseeable future and other changes will be announced at a later time. New Mexico state health officials on Wednesday announced 139 additional positive tests for COVID-19, including three new cases in Roosevelt County. The total number of cases in Roosevelt County is now four. CEO for Roosevelt General Hospital stated Monday, April 20th, that there have been 83 individuals tested in total. Curry County remains at 10 positive cases and Quay County at three. The Clovis City Commission met April 21st in a special meeting to discuss and approve a request to the governor to reopen businesses, including nonprofits, closed by executive and public health orders. Clovis City Mayor Mike Morris, who presented this resolution, said, quote, This resolution is not a discount of the seriousness of COVID-19. This does not seek to prioritize money or commerce over public safety or human life. Instead, it expresses a belief that with the number of cases in the county, it would be safe to begin reopening businesses with public health order restrictions in place. At the scheduled meeting for the Curry County Commission, board members also approved a resolution seeking a modification of public health orders for businesses to reopen with safeguards as the COVID-19 pandemic continues. The Curry County Treasurer's Office has announced that 2019 property taxes will be counted as past due after May 10th. The second half property taxes must be paid by then to avoid penalties and interest. According to the announcement, the state of New Mexico has not waived nor extended the payment due date for property taxes, nor has it waived the penalty and interest for late payments. New Mexico's top land manager has approved an emergency rule allowing oil and gas companies that lease state trust land to temporarily stop producing without penalties for at least 30 days. Longer-term relief will be coming through the rule change process already underway. The shutting of wells have been deemed necessary by the state land office based on plunging oil prices and storage capacity challenges, including the negative value of oil seen in the U.S. earlier this week. Prices first began to drop in February as a result of a price war between between Russia and Saudi Arabia. The lack of stability has been intensified by the financial effects of the coronavirus outbreak.